The railroad industry lost a giant over the weekend with the news of the premature passing of Hunter Harrison. Harrison turned around three railroad characters during his five-year decade career, and he was in the middle of another one at CSX. Our colleague Eric Schatzker knew Harrison well, having interviewed him often over the years, and he joins us now. Welcome, Eric. Good so, morning, David. Good morning. So I know you knew him very well. Tell us about him. Why was he such a force in the railroad industry? Well, first of all, he was a character like few others, right? Identified with the Canadian railroad industry, but he was a Tennessee boy at heart, and you could hear it in his drawl. And he was dynamic. As you mentioned, he turned around three carriers in the course of his career, and he was at it again at CSX. He was a singular figure in railroading, like really few other industries. Uh, not a visionary, right? Not an Elon Musk or not a Steve Jobs, but a master operator. And how do you define mastery? It's with something as boring as the operating ratio, right? This is operating expenses as a percentage of revenue. It's really the most important measure of profitability in railroading. And he had managed to squeeze that down by tens of percentage points at Illinois Central, at Canadian National, and then at Canadian Pacific. But he did it in some controversial ways, no? I wouldn't say so much controversial. He ruffled feathers, right? He was a fan of what they called precision railroading, which is really all about asset utilization. The rolling stock, right, the cars are my assets, and I need to make them pay as much as possible. Previously, the customers defined the railroad schedule, and he said, no, forget about that. We're going to define the railroad schedule and force our customers to conform to the way we want to run the railroad. For sure, it's disruptive, but ultimately, it's much more profitable. Well, if you think about it from why people would get upset, if they lived in a small town and they had a railroad that stopped there three times sure. a week and they cut out service, not great. Also not great, the unions and some of his relationships there. Well, look. The tail of the tape is really what matters to shareholders. That's what happened. So at CN, for example, Canadian National, the stock was up some 390% <laughs> in the space of nine years. At Canadian Pacific, the second railroad he ran, it was up 160% in four and a half years. And at CSX, let's bring up this chart, because this is important. Um, at CSX, the stock was up more than 60% through Friday, of course, when we learned of his illness, and on Saturday, subsequently, with his passing. The white line is railroads. The blue line is CSX. And you can see just how Hunter Harrison's presence at CSX made this enormous difference. Now, unfortunately, you can also draw a somewhat morbid conclusion, which is that the blue line has a little further to fall today because Hunter is no longer just ill. He's no longer with us. And it's all up to this guy, Jim Foote, who's the new CEO at CSX to live through his legacy, and that is a tall order.